I'm really trying to find this because this is this is very important to speak on. So a TikToker by the name of Orly, okay, this, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, this happened in the 956. A TikToker, he's, he goes by Orly, has over 400, 400 uh, followers. So it's being alleged that his brother unalived an eight-year-old boy. And uh, apparently the, the police station, the police haven't done anything about it. Um, like I said, I'm going to make a video once I have more information but it just it's just really sad um and just let's see this what i was tagged in okay did y'all see orly and his family are being accused of murder for a hit and run which is why he has not been on live so i think that i think that one the alex alex brother people are saying he's on the run i i don't know this is just uh, speculation right now uh you can see right here someone asked what happened uh the author the author said he unalives my player i used to coach and didn't get justice because his family's in politics who unalive your player a 17 year old hit and run um so also i also heard there was uh there was uh uh rumors about him backing up out of the driveway and the little kid was riding a bike I don't know. Like I said, I do have to do more digging on this because this is a very serious situation. And then other people are saying, no, that's false information. He was going forward when he hit the boy. So, um, yeah, it, it just sucks if this is true. If the family family are in, in, in politics, it, it's whack. Um, I just feel like the family does need justice. And for those literally defending this family, saying yo i saw i saw a sad ass comment bro it, it made me really mad and sad at the same time there were there were legit blaming the little boy's mom like no lie there were there were blaming the little boy's mom for this situation um let me it's on this phone damn it um yeah they were like yo where was the mom at like bro you can't be serious dog you you really can't be serious their kid Kids are going to play right their bikes, bro. Like, what the hell? But I, I do want to bring awareness to this just because I, I have kids on my own. And I just can't imagine a parent uh, a parent going through through this situation. Like, and I know the dumbass people that are, are, are uh, commenting those stupid shit are not parents. They're just people that are girl fan, uh, a girl fanning fucking with this dude. Uh, and I do want to clarify this. It's not orderly. It's his brother that allegedly did this. Um, yes, because I'm getting comments. Was it him or the brother? Allegedly the brother. Okay. Um, so we are going to bring awareness to this because there's literally a bunch of articles regarding this situation. Um, videos. Um, I think the day that happened, Orly posted a video that uh his his truck got messed up allegedly that switch oh i did not know that allegedly that they switched seats okay i don't know about that i don't know all that um but hold on i'm trying to i'm trying to get more more things or see more videos caleb will be laid to rest last friday caleb was hit by a truck while riding his bike just feet away from his parents driveway in far but since then his heartbroken mom has been trying to get answers from far police on how inaccurate information was released to media agencies like cbs4 and was not corrected for days despite investigators having video evidence and tonight the four investigates team is working for caleb's family to understand where the misinformation came from and why the driver is not charged I heard her say no pulse. Sonia Hernandez is living a mother's worst nightmare, no preparing to bury her eight-year-old baby boy, Caleb Edward Ramirez. Caleb loves football, his mom and dad, siblings, and riding his bike. But Friday, April 26, at around 7.30 p.m., his precious life ended. He was hit by a truck while riding his bike just feet away from his parents' driveway on East Eller Street in Farr. Flowers, his favorite snacks and toys lay next to evidence markers left behind by crime scene investigators. Justice for Caleb, written in street chalk. If the horrors of losing a child couldn't get any worse, Sonia's nightmare took a darker turn when she logged onto social media. 
You see what I mean? The dumbass comments, bro. This comment read, parents are at fault. You don't watch your kids. They wind up on the news story. Most parents down here are horrible. I've seen it firsthand. <sighs> Pieces of shit, bro. I blame myself as a parent. I do. Don't blame yourself, I, please. I, I see the comments, but the only thing that I want is I want. Yes, to he was riding his bike in front of his house, bro. In front of his house. So now kids can't play in front of their house. Like, oh, people are so wrong, bro. Why? That my son was not responsible for his own death. Saturday, media outlets reported preliminary information from the FAR Police Department stating the driver backed into her son, the driver stopped, called 911, and no criminal charges are anticipated. Sonia calling the information a flat-out lie what? because she told investigators video existed and presented it to them on Saturday morning. And for a moment, I was upset at you guys. The authorities knew that there was a pending video. Right. So if they knew that there was a pending video with possible... If uh, yeah, it's alleged. Hold on, let me read this comment. They send the cameras. Alex drove off a few feet and realized what he did and went back. Information. I don't understand why they would release any information to the press. Monday, FAR police sent a second statement. The driver, quote, proceeded to travel forward, and the no charges statement is removed. The police's misinformation festered on social media for days. Okay. But the Foreign Investigates team is working to get answers, going to the apartment where the driver pulled out from, and ask police who told them, quote, the boy was backed into, and why in the second statement, no criminal charges are anticipated, was removed. After repeated interview requests, police are still refusing to talk to us. Late Tuesday, the city sent a third statement with a YouTube video. We understand. It's the chief giving a statement without the media available to ask questions. Police say they are declining our interview request because it's a pending investigation, despite them releasing inaccurate information in the first place. It's a cutting wound to a broken heart. So that means my baby died scared. Bro, it just, <sighs> this is harder for me just because I, I do have, I have two baby boys and I, I just can't imagine. And yeah, there's, there, the police aren't doing anything about it. So I, I've been having, like, I'm not exaggerating a lot. It happened in far Texas. Is that what I'm seeing? Um, a lot of people have been messaging me April 26th. April 26th is what someone said. Um, a lot of people have been messaging me saying, yo, can you, you know, can you use your platform to, uh, for this? And, you know, I am, um, cause the family does need justice, bro. The kid was eight years old riding his bike outside his house. <sighs> it's just, it's just very, it, it's very hard to talk about it.